The man accused of killing Ontario Provincial Police Officer Gregory Perchola last December was out on bail, even though he was a repeat violent offender. Perchola's death quickly prompted calls from politicians and police to tighten bail rules. We need common sense bail reform that says that multiple repeat violent offenders who are newly arrested should stay behind bars until their trial. On Friday, federal and provincial justice and public safety ministers agreed to make changes to Canada's bail system. The reforms will address the challenges posed by repeat violent offenders, as well as offenses committed involving the use of firearms and other weapons, such as knives and bear spray. And while details will be released later, the federal government is being asked to make the reverse onus provision apply to anyone charged with the weapons offense. What that would mean is the onus would be on the accused to prove they could be safely released rather than leave the onus on the state to prove the person should stay in jail. And yet, some bail reform advocates argue public safety would be improved with more liberal bail rules, rules that kept more accused persons out of jail. When we look at the cost, both in dollars and cents, the, the social cost, the fact that when you detain someone in custody, it actually makes it more likely that they'll commit an offense while released. Advocates say more bail monitors, more structured bail for an accused would better improve public safety. The solution is not incarcerating more people. There is a real cost there that no one seems willing to talk about. The political momentum, though, seems to be clearly moving in the direction of tighter bail rules. Every single premier in the country, for the first time, is unanimous on that point. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.